catch everybody like I would in the relay, Curtis. you know. Uh, but when I tried to make my move coming off the curve, I felt a little cramp and I overstrided and kind of stumbled a little bit. So uh, it's nothing serious. So that's a good thing. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try and get in some races at, during the summer, put myself on the on the uh, team sign up and you know fight for a spot, the last two spots on the relay. If they give me the call and say I'm on there, I'll be there, give it my all. If not. You know, it is what it is. You know, I don't want to take a spot from somebody that's running better than me. So, so this, this definitely isn't it for you. No, this is not it for me. Uh, you know, I'm gonna finish. Like I said before, I'm gonna finish the rest of this year, then see what how it goes, and then decide. You know, if I'm gonna hang it up or uh, or move on to next season. So, right now, it's get back and recover and get back to training and try and get in a couple meets over the summer. Try and lay down the time, show that I'm physically fit. They know what I can do on relays. They've seen it in the past. Uh, pin relays ran 44.5 uh, from behind. and So they know what I can do there. I just need to show them what I can do right now after after this weekend and uh, just give myself a chance and let them make the decision. How tough is it being in that lane? I mean, just, you know, you, you know uh, it, it's more of a mental thing than anything. Uh, you train in lane one 90% of the time, uh, especially we do. We train in, in probably about 95% of 98% of the time. But you run relays, in it, you know. It's no different than running a relay. It's just all mental. You got to tell yourself it's just 400. Everyone's got to deal with the same elements. Yeah, it's a little tighter turn, but it is what it is. Like I said, I tried to run it just like a relay. That was my goal. That was me and Coach Hart's strategy was go out there uh, and just try and catch everybody one, one at a time. I felt like my first hundred was great. Uh, I set myself up good at the two. Was making my move a little bit, but uh, when I tried to pick it up coming off the curve. I felt something a little bit overstrided, stumbled, and that was it. Uh, it's part of the game. It's part of track and field. Uh, cramps, injuries, overstrides, everything like that. One misstep and you're done. Uh, especially in these sprints, you know. Uh, so you know, you just go with what what happens, and you know, you got to move forward and, and get get ready for the next one. And you know, ho hopefully, uh, my wife who's getting me in the meets this year, hopefully she can get me in a couple this summer, <laughs> and uh, you know, get back out there and try and get back down to the 44s and show them what I can do. I felt good today, and, uh, you know, things happen. Right. So is it a cramp or a strain? Or? It, it's more of a cramp than anything. Uh, I don't think I strained anything. I'm walking just fine. I don't feel anything. I think it was just when I uh, when I misstrided, I think it kind of just grabbed just a little bit, and, uh, you know, it kind of made me stumble, and, you know, from there on, you know, it's kind of hard to get back in the race, but uh, especially at that point. Where was it? Uh, right at about 290, 295. Where your body? Oh, about mid to low hamstring. Uh, Which leg? Yeah. Uh, Which leg? Uh, right leg. Right leg. Uh, you know, I had the same thing in uh, about four weeks ago at practice uh, on one of my runs, but it took me like three, four days to get back from it, and I was racing again, competing and practicing again. So I think it's going to be about the same situation. Uh, you know, good luck to everybody that made the final. Uh, Tony McQuay looked real good today. He PR'd, and, uh, you know, I hope the top three are our best top three that run you know i hope they run something fast tomorrow and show the world you know us 400 runners are, are here and we're coming for you you ever talked to sonia about you know this is definitely her last year and you're getting near the end you know uh I, my my uh my mentality was a little different than hers this year you know she wanted it to be her last year and that's why she announced it the way she did uh she she wants to start a family uh, she's done, had an amazing career. She's done a lot in her career, won gold medals, won American records. Uh, this was her way of, of, you know, giving it all her hat, all she had the rest of the year. You know, she wanted to make sure that she ran, she trained as hard as she could, she made the team and then won medals. You know, my, my thing is I don't want to call it the last year and then get to that point and say, you know what, I'm taking that back, I'm gonna try and run next year. I'm gonna leave it up in the air, like I said, and wait till the end of the year and then make my decision. Uh, I don't wanna come here and put a lot of pressure on myself saying this is my last chance, this is my last race of the year, I have to do something or it's done. I didn't wanna do that to myself, I didn't wanna put all that pressure on my back. I just wanted to come here, relax, run the best I can, and give it all I had and move on, and move forward and see what happens for the rest of the season. What do you think is the biggest difference between now and when you're sort of in your prime? Uh, I think a lot of it was I was never injured early in my prime. You know, uh, I was consistent every year. You know, I got to a certain point, and then the next year I built on that. These last four years, you know, I would get to a point back, and then an injury would happen, and I'd take steps back and have to try and build that back. And you know, trying to do that every year takes a lot of a lot of effort and a lot of strain on your body. Last year was the first year I finished the season healthy, and I was able to build on that this year. I felt like this this race this final I would have. 
been mid to low 45. I don't know if it would have been enough to make it, but you know, I was I was where I wanted to be at. I had good position, and uh, you know, things happen. And uh, I just I'm glad I gave it my all. I ran a great 300, and one little misstride did it. But uh, like I said before, I'm gonna go back, uh, recuperate, and uh, start training and see if I can get into a meets. If not, then this would probably be my last race of the season if I can't get in races for here the rest of the season. No problem, Jeremy.